Hi guys, welcome to another video. Hope you are all keeping well. Now for this video, I'd like to review um, a DVD that I watched uh, in the week uh, and uh, I thoroughly enjoyed it. Uh, now, uh, the DVD in question um, features a movie from 1963 uh, and it stars Michael Goff, Gene Cooper, Rod Lauren uh, and it was directed by Robert Gordon and that movie is The Black Zoo. Okay then guys, um, as per usual, um, before I say anything further about the movie and giving me thoughts on the storyline as a whole, I'll just read you the synopsis on the back of this DVD, just in case you're not familiar um, with this movie. Right, so Michael Goff goes animal crackers in a ferocious tale of beastly horror. Somebody's been watching Marx Brothers movie. The most savage animal in a garden of beasts, animal worship cultist and private zoo owner Michael Conrad, played by Michael Goff. I was trained as lions well, uh, sicking the big cats, big cats, setting the big cats on any fool who dares get in his way. First it was a snoopy secretary, then a scheming realtor, but only when his unhappy wife, uh, played by Jean Cooper, runs off with his beloved chimps, does Conrad unleash his inner beast, and the fair, and the fair really flies. I don't know who writes these synopsises. Now, shot by Academy Award-winning cinematographer Floyd Crosby on a sound stage, stopped by famed animal behaviourist and marine world creator Ralph, Ralph Helfer, Black Sue is the third and final collaboration of Goff, who later played Alfred the Butler in four Batman movies and producer Herman Cohen, a directed horrors at the Black Museum and Conga, a furious last trip to the mall. <laughs> Pardon the pun, but it's, 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 it's in a synopsis here. Okay then, guys, um... On to my thoughts now on the Black Zoo um, as a whole. Yeah, I've got no complaints whatsoever. I thoroughly enjoyed it. And Michael Goff plays it all oh, a really nasty piece of work in this. You know, he's uh, he's very good at playing a villain, Michael Goff. You know, we've seen him in many movies where, he, where he's played like a real baddie, you know. And um, yeah, once like, um, as I say, he basically, the story is basically he sets, his, he sets his animals onto anybody, you know, that rubs them up the wrong way, you know, um, be it a, a gorilla, be it a lion, you know, any any animal at all that he's got in the zoo, he just says, it, go and get him, you know. So, um, but yeah, oh yeah, so, some of the brutal kills in this movie, guys, you know, say, like, you know, when the lion attacks this girl and that when she's walking along the streets, uh, and then it's a rather nasty one where um, another, another lady, just as she sort of like... Um, She's getting into a car, this big gorilla comes out of nowhere and just punches her a few times in the face and just completely, a, a skull completely caves in. Oh yeah, ahead of its time this guy's in terms of brutal kills, you know, made in 1963. Um, but um, I wouldn't say, like, it's not really, don't expect to, to go into this movie, don't expect to go into this movie expecting loads of uh, blood and gore because you won't get it. It is mild uh, blood, you know, but uh, the killings are brutal, you know, uh, and yeah, uh, as uh, like where he sets the animals on people, like you know, who he, he hates and that, you know. And there's one particular person in it, um, this smarmy businessman. He comes along like with a proposition, he basically wants to sort of like he basically wants Michael Goff to sell up, you know, uh, because he wants to expand and expand land and that, you know, greedy property developer. And he goes to see Michael Gopp, but Michael Gopp's adamant, no, I'm not selling up, you know. Uh, and he's, he's tr he wants to, he tries to get him to, you know, without giving too much away, guys, he, he pushes and pushes for Michael Gopp to go into business with him. Yeah, but he's, he's, a, he's a type of character, like, kind of reminiscent of a snake oil salesman, you know. He's very, very smarmy and really not safe to be trusted and that. But Michael Gopp, you know, he gets his own back on him and that, you know. And oh, once he unleashes his animals, guys, you know, there's no hell's bar. But yeah, I like the concept. I like the concept of this movie, you know, like a zookeeper, like, yeah, getting put on and like it's sort of like setting his animals on, on, onto people, like, you know, who rubs, rubs, them up the, rubs them up the wrong way. Um, very good acting by Michael Goff and a, st a strong, solid cast. Lovely, lovely uh, cinematography, and if this actually gets a Blu ray release with their uh, special features, you know, uh, I will definitely be getting another Blu ray. But uh, this this does me for now, guys. Anyway, it's, it's a great movie, The Black Zoo. Um, and I hadn't heard of it, like, I'd no, I didn't even know Michael Goff had made a movie called The Black Zoo until um, I was watching one of the, um, was it one of the YouTube uh, videos, and he talked about Michael Goff. Or one of the extras on one of me Blu rays or DVDs, and he mentioned this movie called The Black Zoo. So instantly, my curiosity was piqued. I thought, oh, that sounds all right. The Black Zoo, I think I'll get that. Oh, but I wasn't disappointed, guys. This is a great movie, you know. Uh, but you've got to like your 1960s um, British horror thrillers to get the derived, 
you know, to derive the maximum enjoyment out of the black zoo. But I loved it. It was a great movie, you know, and uh, this guy here, the help this helping him and that he, he can't speak, he feels sorry for him and that, you know, so he's got, but there's kind of a twist. I won't reveal what the twist this guy's involved in this uh this uh, this um a uh, guy you know um but he, he goes along with Michael Goff and that you know he, he's sort of like Michael Goff basically bullies into you know clearing out the cages and that you know and of course like anybody you know anybody gets on the wrong side of him throw him into the lion's cage and that oh it's very good this guy's it, it's really good it's a it's a great story you know and um if you like if you like Michael Goff and you haven't got this in your Michael Goff collection I highly recommend that you get yourself a copy of of the Black Zoo I loved it uh, and I'm going to be watching it again uh, very very soon um unfortunately guys there's no um this is just a bare bones release it's, it's got it's got no um extras on it but as i say um if they do like a blu-ray um you know arrow or somebody or vinegar syndrome pick it up i'm sure they'll put some extras in it and that you know but oh really great animals on the rampage movie the black zoo uh, from 1963 uh, and uh, oh i really enjoyed it michael goff oh yeah he's a very very underrated actor michael goff you know he's been of course he was in Dracula wasn't he? he played he played a goodie in that one but he's played as I say he's very good at playing villains and that like for, for instance the horrors of the Black Museum Conga they're all great Michael Goff movies I might actually do a Michael Goff special uh you know uh in soon you know tell him tell him uh, telling you all about my favorite Michael Goff movie he's always a great actor Michael Goff and he's very very serious and that you know he really smiles and he's and this role guys it fits them all like a glove you know he's a real Ooh, real badass in this, you know, and uh, but the animals, like you know, it, you know, they just I just love I love animals and that, you know, and uh, even though they're ferocious and that, you know, just love them and that, you know, uh, but Michael Goff he uses them for, as I say, you know, for for nefarious purposes, like you know, malevolent purposes and that, you know, so it, it makes it makes for a great movie, very entertaining movie. Not I wasn't bored once with the Black Sioux and uh, yeah, a good a good little gem. This is what I like, guys, about being like him. Um, a YouTuber talking about movies coming from time to time coming coming across realities like this, the Black Sioux. Uh, and um, I do believe in I think it was 1932, there was a movie called um again what was it the Black Sioux in the 1930s, but was it Lionel Atwill? I don't remember too much about it, but yeah, there is definitely another movie called Black Sioux. I think it's an American movie from the 1930s, but I think the storyline's different. But this is great, guys. This it really is, yeah. All right, then, guys, on to a rating now. No hesitation whatsoever. A full 10 out of 10 for the Black Sioux. Uh, yeah, I highly recommend it if you love Michael Goff, if you love uh, 1960s British Hall Thrills. Get yourself a copy of this. Okay, then, guys, uh, that's it then. Uh, you, if you like the video, please be to share, subscribe, comment, and it all going well. I'll be back again very, very soon.